hey, uh, didn't see you there. Glad you came by. Uh, this is my channel. Uh, I'm Victor, and I'm a professional front end developer, engineer, uh, designer. I like to do photography and been a musician since I was a kid. So uh, you can just call me a creative. Let me put this away real quick. So I've been asked a lot lately why I haven't made a channel. And the reason is fear. I think that's the reason why a lot of people don't do things that they know they want to do. And they know they should do. Yeah, let's let's not do that. Let's do what we want to do. You too. I'm making this video. You go do something. All right, so I don't want to give you too much. So I'm going to do two minutes. And... uh this is going to be fast, so pay good attention. All right, I was born in Ohio, Columbus. Moved to uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, um, around there, a place called Byron Center. It's really different than everybody creative since I was a kid. I uh, grew up drawing and doing different things and uh, really just absorbing media and absorbing music and movies and just creative stuff is, is what I love. When I was 13, I uh, made my first CD because um, I'd learned to play guitar uh, pretty, pretty well, uh, on my own and wrote about four songs for that first CD and um, that kind of led me to being a musician up until I was probably about 21 um, so end of high school not a great time I wasn't the greatest student out there but um, yeah music was was pretty much my life I'd recorded CDs for other people and made quite a few like I said up until about I was 21 um, obviously late teens early 20s is kind of when life's crazy when you're uh, a pretty artistic person you can get in with some bad people and, and uh, good people and, and just learn a lot about who you are so that was fun then uh, I was working as a dishwasher and I'm not knocking it because you know it taught me a lot about hard work and it taught me a lot about dealing with people so <clears throat> I was a dishwasher bus boy ended up being a cook um, but then I learned to code and <laughs> all I thought was hey if somebody gives me a chance then um, that's all it takes, you know. Somebody gives me a chance, and ended up, <clears throat> I ended up getting a chance with a local company that I was with for about three years, <clears throat> a little over three years actually, and um, learned tons of stuff. It was just constant, uh, constant learning, constant working, and I loved it. Uh, ended up, things didn't quite work out there, and um, ended up getting with the company that I'm with now, that I've been with for about almost three years now. Um, and we make a learning product. It's, it's awesome. But basically, uh, technology and, you know, front end design, uh, front end engineering is, is what I do now. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's my story. Here I am. My life's changed very much recently because, uh, some family, uh, health issues. So I basically become a nomad <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. Uh, so that is one thing you will see being a part of, of the stuff that I make. Um, is is this kind of expanding and uh, view of, of what my life can be. Now, I think I went a couple seconds over my two minutes, but that's all right, right? We're, we're talking. We're just friends here. So now you're probably asking, what is this channel about? What is this guy going to talk about? Well, what I want to talk about is, first of all, all the trouble that comes with being a creative. Um, most resistance is a kind of a um, an idea that people who are creative, people who are trying to do new things, are taking the path of most resistance. Um, you're not going to create anything really great, I personally think, um, by playing into your your comfort zone and, and all that stuff. Um, so <clears throat> you're better off meeting things with the most resistance, because um, that's also going to be the most growth, in my my opinion. So most resistance is is basically going to be a um, a code channel that talks about, uh, you know, uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all these different things. Um, I might do some tutorials, but I want to talk more about the industry, uh, talk more about the evolving technologies and um, how, really how they pertain to everyday uh, people's everyday lives. Um, there's a lot about technology. I think that people are, technology and code, that uh, people are pretty confused about. So they... <clears throat> they hear things uh, on the internet or they see something on a television show and they think that must be how it is, but definitely um, not always the case. So, uh, yeah, code, tech, obviously tech. Uh, this is stuff that I've been working with for a while. I was actually, uh, I worked um, in high school. I worked in a basically a really small TV studio uh, for three years in a, um, a 
Music Theater, a production theater for about two years, I think. All this different stuff is stuff that I've worked with. I'm not a professional at basically anything other than coding, um, but I do have a lot of experience and I have a lot of well-worn practical experience. So I would love to give that away and just, I mean, if it helps somebody not make a mistake that I made, I think that would be the best thing that I could do um, because there's a lot of people who have who have helped me um, not make the mistakes that they made. So um, just trying to give back a little bit on that front. Also, I want to talk just about life, um, maybe in the, the essence of, of tech and um, what it all means uh, to live in the, the modern world and why, <clears throat> maybe why, maybe why technology is or isn't doing good or, or bad. So we can talk about that um, from time to time. And of course, reviews. There's going to be reviews. Now, now my phone is old. I have a iPhone 6s Plus. Uh, so I'm not going to review this, but uh, quite often I'll get kind of interesting tech and uh, try to stay up as much as I can and kind of get the new odd items. I'm not buying flagship phones every year, so don't expect those reviews. And I'm not going to spend money to, to review something that most of you probably can't buy. Um, so yeah, it's going to be practical. Let's talk more about like, uh, you know, dongles and cases and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Not to knock anybody, but yeah, I'm just not going to do that because I, uh, there are enough channels who are uh, swimming in money who can do that type of stuff. So yeah, I want to help, um, you know, the little man, the little woman trying to do their thing and really kind of learn, uh, some of the more creative crafts. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm super excited for this channel and I'm super excited to bring you value, which is really what I want to do is take all the things that I've learned and kind of transform them into something that um, can really serve you because I've been extremely uh, fortunate to uh, be old enough to really have taken advantage of, of YouTube for many, many years to learn things and uh, figure things out and, and hear people's opinions and kind of learn uh, learn more about who I am, uh, not only by hearing others, but uh, hearing things that uh, I can relate to. So this is a labor of love, um, but ultimately it will be about code, tech, life. So yeah, basically that's what I'm trying to do is bring you value on all these different levels and maybe help some people out. So why don't you head out and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for showing up to this video. And Please take the path of most resistance. I promise you won't regret it. Um, you will get the most the most rewards out of doing the hardest things. If you try to live an easy life, you're, you're going to get easy results. And I promise you the easy results are not what you want. So do things hard. And it's never too late to uh, slip on over and take the path of most resistance. Till, till next time. Later.